$7,000 worth of private property stolen from a cemetery. It happened this past weekend in Caldwell County, just outside of San Marcos. And now the owner of that cemetery is getting creative in an effort to catch the thieves. KXN's Lauren Landman looks at the extra help he's getting. All they have to do is just jerk, jerk that chain and it automatically comes out. Within seconds, they're gone. Dozens of vases holding flowers for loved ones at Memory Lawn Memorial Park. It's really a horrible thing to be done. It's just like getting vandalized. Owner of the cemetery, Bill Pennington, says 25 bronze vases, valued at about $300 a piece, were stolen over the weekend, leaving headstones with empty holes and flowers on the ground. But this isn't the first time the cemetery has been hit. Last summer, 75 copper vases were stolen. They're parking where we can't see them anyway. They know what they're doing. They're in and out too quick. Pennington suspects the thieves are taking these vases to scrap yards. But he's teamed up with Green Guys Recycling to be on the lookout. It's never going to be as valuable to them as it is to the people that they're hurting. Operations manager Tommy Ishibashi says they only pay $1.40 per pound for bronze. So the most these thieves could get is about $140. And that's if they don't get caught. To sell most material, they're going to have to come in and uh, prove exactly who they are and where they're coming from with uh, a little process that the state of Texas has set up. So the yard takes a photo, fingerprints, and a signature for many sales. Pennington hopes that process helps catch the grave robbers from his cemetery. Lauren Landman, KXAN News. Pennington says any time a theft occurs, the owners of the lot must file their own police report through Caldwell County. That's because Pennington owns the cemetery, but not the individual lots. This is not the first time a cemetery has been targeted by thieves, of course. In March of 2010, we told you about hundreds of thefts at the Cook Walden Capitol Park Cemetery in Pflugerville. More than 400 grave sites were targeted there when brass containers were stolen. Those vases were 85% copper. We reached out to the cemetery to see if they've taken any extra security steps since those thefts. But we have not heard back. It is important to note, under Texas law, any theft from a grave or body is a felony. Almost any desecration of a grave or marker is considered a felony offense as well, if it's done intentionally, and this includes graffiti. And while the Texas Historical Commission does help protect cemeteries, they are not responsible for handling cases like this. Laws are enforced by county or city law enforcement.